The left-wing anarchists tore down a statue of Thomas Jefferson. Now we're getting into the real stuff. They decapitated a statue of Christopher Columbus, except in New York when the Italians surrounded it. They didn't have too much of a chance. Those Italians, I love the Italians. They heard they were gonna rip down their beautiful Christopher Columbus, and all of a sudden they circled that thing. They didn't do too well in hurting Christopher, did they? Thank you to our Italian population. We're very proud of you. Right? <laughs> Two days ago, leftist radicals in Portland, Oregon ripped down a statue of George Washington <laughs> and wrapped it in an American flag and set the American flag on fire. <laughs> Democrat, Dem all Democrat. Everything I tell you is Democrat. And you know, we ought to do something, Mr. Senators. We have two great senators. We ought to come up with legislation that if you burn the American flag, you go to jail for one year. One year. Jim and James. Jim and James. We ought to do it. You know, they talk about freedom of speech, and I'm a big Let believer in freedom of speech. Let me respond to Donald Trump and uh, his threat of enabling a law. We used to have things. We don't we should have legislation that if to somebody ban wants to flag burn burning the because flag that's such a major, major it, issue in the United States of America. Okay. And many of you Trump supporters that are clapping during that speech are being had. Really? That's a big deal? Your flag, do you worship, do you, you, you guys worship that flag more than you worship probably your Bible. You are worshiping a piece of cloth, and if somebody says, if I say I hate America, I mean, why, if I just say I hate America, why can't I just go into jail for a year? Because that's what that's what you think the flag is saying, right? You're, you're saying that the somebody burned the flag is saying they hate America. And that bothers you. But that's their freedom, but that's their right, isn't it? Oh, but you're mad because, well, they benefit from America. Well, we're the best fucking country. Great. That you can you can articulate that viewpoint. But that person has a right to hate America. So even if Colin Kaepernick was kneeling for the hatred of America, he has a right to to voice that opinion even when you're, I mean, e not even when you're telling them, but when you're telling them to say well, America's great. Sing the Star Spangled Banner. That's a disrespect. You can't hate America. Look what we did. And look what you did. And guess what? Look what you what you don't do. I love America. I think America is great in many things. But see, you, you guys that are Trump support, patriotic, and all this bullshit, you're fucking immature. You're fucking fifth grade punks. Okay, you got no spine. That is a mentally weak position. Burning the flag, you are gonna propose a law. And I hope I can't believe that there's all the Republicans that are gonna support this. I don't I think I, this just has to be Donald Trump's idea. I mean, really, Fox News, you guys are gonna go there again. Tommy Lauren, you're gonna go there. I had my family fight for this country. Shit tears. Okay, Tommy Lauren, do you, do you, would you rather them say they hate America? Would that get you upset too? It's a flag. My whole point is it's a flag. It's not, it, it is not a human being. It's a symbol. If someone wants a flag burned publicly somewhere, it's, that's their sentiment. And I'm not going to sit there and say, well, it's not a, it's a form of protest and we love. Liberals do that do that a lot. They got to explain to other people why, they, why you know, it's not they hate. No. What if I did say I hate America and I burned the flag because I'm angry towards America? And guess what? People, some people have a good reasons to be angry against America historically. And for you, Tommy Lauren, to decide what people should be angry is not your concern. So you say Colin Kaepernick is rich as if rich means everything. As if being rich means everything. It doesn't mean everything. Colin Kaepernick, the same Colin Kaepernick still probably gets stopped a lot more than the rich 
wealthy football player. And he still probably has implicit biases that he has to deal with all the time. Now, I'm not going to go through all the examples because probably many of you conservatives don't believe in it. So why bother you to go through those examples? So you can sit there and deny it? If you want to know about, about implicit bias, you could type it in your YouTube search engine. You could type in uh, racial studies and all these things. Like actual physical experiments with black people and white people and uh, how they're perceived as being sp suspicious. But what I'm saying to you is that this notion of kneeling down, um, being so offensive that Donald Trump has to continue to talk about, oh, man, I, I wish they get fired. This is childish, Donald. OK, and all you guys that support it, you're chi you're be childish, too. I'm done talking about this because it is intellectually insulting to me that conservatives, conservatives. Have brought, I mean, even sexuality, the representational sexuality, I can even, I can be more sympathetic, sympathetic towards because it actually deals with human interaction. And I don't, I'm not, and I'm not sympathetic towards that. You know, symbolic sexuality mean love and family and all that BS. That annoys me. But at least, at least it deals with a person. You're talking about a freaking flag.